People was calling underground Shiva temple. This is the Shiva temple. Mm -hmm. In 15th century, it was called like a Prasanna Virupaksha temple. You know, already we entered the royal enclosure, so royal family was staying on this place. Mm -hmm. So every day morning, when king was getting shower, after the shower they make a puja from the god first. They make a prayer. They don't have any work. There is a one temple like main tower, so it was far away. King, they never go again and again the village and they get, they don't want to go the village and they don't want to go the, the far away or there. In summer time here, so much hot. Yeah, like yeah. Powerful hot, powerful yeah. sun. So that time, this is the near place. They came every day morning here. In summer time, they make make the puja. So every day, the king was they cannot go the hampi, they cannot go there again and again because. So many people were yeah. there. So he is the king. When the king was came every day, people was getting disturbance. So they give, they come to uh, every day here. When they get, uh, when sometimes there is a festival, so that time they will went to the main tower, like main temple in Hampi. Okay, cool. This is the elephant's table. 
So this elephant is used only for the festival time, okay, yeah. not for the war. You know, see, uh, it, there is a one dog, first dog. It yeah. was like a uh, in, Hindu style. Yeah. Another one, uh, it was Jain. Jain, you know the Jainism. Yeah. Like Buddhism. Yes. Yeah. So same like the the dog was yeah. style. Yeah. So after that, it was a uh, Hindu style. Hindu. Yeah. Hindu. Yeah. Hindu. Hindu. Style. After that, uh, Indo-Islamic style, last one, ah, yes. similar for there. There is, and yeah. <laughs> so who protect the uh, elephant? The guys were staying. Okay, so is the guest house. Guest house ah, for the people. So okay. who the protect and who give the, the everyday food for the elephant? You know, uh, for the festival elephant, yeah, they make every day clean. Every day they teach something new like this, okay, like yeah. two two legs. They stand up. Ah, uh, yes. They do like this. Yeah, so we're going to just check out these elephant stables, have a bit of a closer look. Never knew there was such a thing as elephant stables before. But, uh, yeah, turns out there is. So, as you would have heard, Aron, our uh, tour guide, say, over there behind me that way is the elephant stables, and this one behind me here is the guest house for like the elephant keepers. So, yeah, I'm gonna go check this one out. So the guide was saying, with these walls here, how they used to build them was they would just use manpower up to as high as they could reach, which was about six feet. And after that, they used to um, build ramps out of like just dirt and grass and whatnot. They used to get the elephants to drag the stones up and then they would build up there and then they'd add more dirt and then they'd drag them up more until they got it to the height they wanted it at and then they'd dig away all the uh, all the dirt again and that's how they built those walls so if this is the the guest house i'm just curious where are the bedrooms i thought i was going to walk in here and there's going to just be rooms but it's kind of like a courtyard with statues all around, which is very cool, but where did they sleep? Maybe just in the open or just down here. behind me now it's the uh, known as the Lotus Mahal 
it's actually the Queen's summer house and the reason it's the summer house is because they designed it so that it was um, very cool. What's going on mate? You good? Good. Yes. <laughs> They're just looking at me weird because I'm talking to the camera. But um, yeah, so they designed it so it was very cool in summer. Apparently it gets extremely hot here in summer. And um, the way that they designed it so it's very cool in summer, obviously You're not allowed in there and the security over there, all the locals are letting their kids climb through it so the security are going bananas. But um, yeah, as you could tell it's very open. So yeah, obviously the wind blows through it which makes it quite cool. But they came up with a very ingenious idea and see the pillars, those pillars are actually hollow. And um, the reason they're hollow is because they have a, a water system that uh, pumps water through one pipe and it enters one area, I forget where he did say, but I say, that's, this is the well here behind me here. So it pumps water and constantly flows through the pillars, cools down, cools down the pillars, which cools down the area and the wind blows through and that cools the um, pillars down as well. And the whole system working together works like a big aircon unit. Amazing ingenuity for the uh, 15th century, right? But, um, like I mentioned, this is the summer house, so I'll show you the, uh, the winter house. Okay, so this behind me here, this is actually the Queen's main palace. And yeah, as you can see, there's not much left of it. This is actually just like the uh, foundation for it. So what happened here was, uh, they built this one out of wood. So it was apparently a big wooden structure on top of that uh, foundation there. But when the place got raided, um, they burnt that to the ground. Obviously, it was very easy to destroy. They destroyed quite a few things around here, which is a shame. But uh, yeah, that was one of them. 